How can flushing a toilet give away the position of a nuclear submarine? The U.S. Navy's nuclear submarines are designed to stay hidden underwater for long periods, ensuring they aren't found by enemy forces. However, just like any other vessel, submarines have to handle human waste. They store waste in special tanks called sanitary tanks, which need to be emptied into the ocean occasionally. This process, known as blowing sanitaries, uses pressurized air to push the waste out to sea. But in enemy waters, where silence is critical, this process can create noise that enemy sonar might detect. To minimize risks, crews are subject to strict water usage rules, limiting toilet use, and sometimes going days without showers. Flushing isn't just noisy, it can also be dangerous. During World War II, a German U-boat sank in 1945 because someone flushed the toilet incorrectly. Seawater flooded into the submarine, leaking into the battery compartment. The water reacted with the batteries, producing toxic chlorine gas that quickly spread. The crew was forced to surface, where they were spotted and attacked by enemy aircraft. How can flushing a toilet give away the position of a nuclear submarine? The U.S. Navy's nuclear submarines are designed to stay hidden underwater for long periods, ensuring they aren't found by enemy forces. However, just like any other vessel, submarines have to handle human waste. They store waste in special tanks called sanitary tanks, which need to be emptied into the ocean occasionally. This process, known as blowing sanitaries, uses pressurized air to push the waste out to sea. But in enemy waters, where silence is critical, this process can create noise that enemy sonar might detect. To minimize risks, crews are subject to strict water usage rules, limiting toilet use, and sometimes going days without showers. Flushing isn't just noisy, it can also be dangerous. During World War II, a German U-boat sank in 1945 because someone flushed the toilet incorrectly. Seawater flooded into the submarine, leaking into the battery compartment. The water reacted with the batteries, producing toxic chlorine gas that quickly spread. The crew was forced to surface, where they were spotted and attacked by enemy aircraft.